Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, April the 11th. It's the second week in Easter and week one in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 14, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. Now join me please in singing the first verse of Psalm 66, part 2, by Isaac Watts. Now shall my solemn vows be paid to that almighty power that heard the long requests I made in my distressful hour. Our help is in the name of God Most High the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all the eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah! The fool has said in his heart, there is no God above. Hallelujah! Psalm 14, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah! The fool has said in his heart, there is no God above. All are corrupt and have done abominable things. There is none left that are good. The Most High has looked down from heaven, upon the people of the world, to see if there were any that understood, if any would seek God. They are all gone astray. They have all together become evil. There is none left that do good, no, not even one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and do not call upon God? There they were in great fear, for God is with the righteous. You have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Most High is their refuge. Oh, that Israel's salvation would come out of Zion. When God restores the people, Jacob, Leah, and Rachel shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God above. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Rid yourselves, therefore, of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure, spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Most High is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture. See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner. And a stone that makes them stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, 
a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Keep us from foolishness and far away from corruption and abominable acts, O God. Save us that we may rejoice and be glad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.